Hello, today in straight cam, I'm going to show you how to balance a redox equation. So to balance a redox equation, for example, like the one that you are seeing on the screen right here. Okay. We can use a um, the technique that we call as divide, balance and combine, or we call it as D, B, C technique to balance it. So this is a step-by-step -step technique to balance a redox equation. Um, usually students are afraid of doing this because they think it's very difficult, but by using this technique, it should be able to help you um, understand on how to balance this in a very easy way. Now, you have divide. When you split this equation here, based on the redox property and then we have balance and then finally we would combine both of the half reactions together to form a balanced redox equation now for the balance bits we have a few levels of balancing the first level is we're going to balance all atoms except for hydrogen and oxygen that is the first level second level is balance oxygen atom okay by adding h2o the third level is balancing hydrogen atom by adding H plus and then the fourth level of balancing you're gonna balance the charge by adding electron and then finally um, you are going to be balancing the electron okay so the level over here you can call it as the Auche level so this technique is called as dbc Auche. okay so how do we use this let's have a look now, the first step that we need to do is to divide this balance. This um, it should be balanced afterwards, but right now it is not balanced yet. So we're going to divide them based on their redox property. So it's quite easy to identify. So we're going to pair up these two together. And then you're going to pair up that together because they look similar. This one has manganese atom and over there it has manganese atom as well. And the other one has iron and on this side you have iron as well. Okay. So we're done with that one then moving on to the second um, part of the balancing is you're going to be balancing atoms okay you balance the atoms except for oxygen and hydrogen so we're going to look at both half reactions so if you look here, over here you have one ion, one ion. So now at this point, we're just going to ignore everything else except for the atoms. You ignore the, the charge, ignore the oxygen, okay? So we just want to focus on the atoms. So when you look on this half reaction, 
the iron we can see that it's already balanced so you're just gonna write that again okay copy that and then when you look here mn mn you have one mn on this side and one mn on that side so that is also balance so i'm just gonna rewrite that so we have done the first level of balancing which is the atom except for oxygen and hydrogen and also we ignore the charge because we're going to reach that point later on remember a o h c e okay now we've done with a next we're going to look at okay we're going to look at balancing oxygen atom okay we're gonna balance the oxygen atom by adding h2o on the side that does not have oxygen so let's have a look at the one on top this half reactions over here when you look both sides both sides do not have oxygen so you don't have to add h2o okay on any of those sides so that should be um, considered as balance for oxygen already okay so on this side you don't have oxygen zero oxygen and over this side you have zero oxygen so that is balance in terms of oxygen atom but when you look at this half reactions you have four mole of oxygen right there on the reactant side therefore you're going to add 4H2O over here. So, MnO4 minus, Mn2 plus, and you're going to add H2O. How many? You have four oxygens over here. You have one over here. Therefore, you add four. So, for both half reactions, you have got them um, balanced in terms of oxygens, right? Now, next level is when we want to balance H atom, okay? So we want to balance the H atom. Again, we're going to look at this half reactions first. So as you can see, over this side, it does not have H. Same goes to that side, means zero H over here, zero H over there, and your um, H atoms for that half reaction is considered as balance. But on this side, you have eight hydrogens, four, times two is eight okay you have eight on this side you have zero h so how are you going to balance that by adding h plus okay so so you're going to add eight h plus So you get this okay okay so we've done up until the um, H level we have done a o and H remember ouche a o and H so we're left with balancing charge and balancing the electron all right so now we're going to try to balancing the 
charge. Okay? By adding electron. Right. So, again, we're going to look at one by one each half reaction. So, we look at the half reactions over here. This side, you have 2 plus. Over that side, you have 3 plus. So, to balance this, you're going to add electron on the side with the most or more electro positive side. Okay? So, we're going to add electron right over here to make the charge to be 2 plus to be balanced with this. Okay? So, Fe2 plus. Fe3 plus because over here is more positive. So I'm going to add one mole of electron. Okay, so um, when you look there, you have two plus, three plus, plus one minus, you will get two plus. So that is the um, balance for charge for that half reaction. Okay, but over here is a bit more complicated if you look at first glance, but it's the same thing. You've got 2 plus and here is 0 charge. So the net charge over this side is 2 plus. Over here you have minus 1 and plus 8. Okay, so overall over here is plus 7. And to make plus 7 to become plus 2, you need to add um, 5 mole of electron on that side. Okay. So now you've got your charge balance and we need to balance out the electron now. Okay, so you've got this. So to... Next, what we need to do is to balance out the electron, we need to find a number that we can cancel that electron because we want to combine both of this to become a single um, redox reaction equation. So we need to find a number to cancel out that electron. Over here you have 5, over here you have 1. Therefore, to do that, you're going to times 5 over here, then you get 5e2 plus 5e3 plus plus 5 electron. Okay. Over here you have MnO4 minus plus 8h plus plus 5 electrons. Mn2 plus and H2O. So we can cancel out this and that. So when you cancel that out, then you can start combining the, um, the rest of it. So you have 5Fe2 plus over here alongside with MnO4 minus plus 8H plus to make Mn2 plus uh, plus 5 Fe3 plus plus 4H2O. Well, here you have 5. Okay, so this is the balance equation. So that's how you're going to balance your equation. All right. So remember the tips. How are you going to balance that? You can use the D, B, C, Ao, Che method 
to balance your redox equation.